Thanks, Danita. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I mean, that's why we have stayed here. One, it's, it's a great city to raise our four children, so we couldn't think of a better place to live. But you also want to work in a place, especially if you're doing sports, where the fans are passionate. This is not a transient town. People that live here have grown up here, and the Indians have been a part of their family, their families' families. Generations come and go, and they're still Indians fans. So from a broadcaster standpoint, you can't find a better place to work than Cleveland. Uh, yeah, you know, Danita, unfortunately, it's, it's the business of baseball, and both Cabrera and Masterson were going to be free agents at the end of the year, and we're going to both leave. And so this is a ball club that, you know, feels like they've got to try to win now, but also, more importantly, try to get this thing going where they're winning every year. And they get two young prospects, and, uh, you know, as Drupal wasn't having the kind of year he anticipated, nor was Justin Masterson. So you hate to see those guys go because they're good guys. I get it when the fans are upset, but uh, the bottom line is this club hasn't played as well as they had hoped. <laughs> well, I think the first game, Danita, because um, for me it was the impossible dream became a reality. You know, you. You're a little kid growing up on a farm in Wisconsin thinking this would be a great way to make a living if you weren't good enough to, to play in the major leagues, and I certainly wasn't. So nothing will ever top that first game, uh, doing it with somebody like a Herb score in 1990. And, of course, we got a blizzard in the second inning, and the game got snowed out. So uh, I soon found out what it was going to be like to do April baseball in Cleveland. Well... Thank you. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Danita.